Hey, it's 825. We're in extended coverage because it's a first alert weather day, Mike. You know, a first alert weather day is a, has a little bit more impact than just a regular first alert. And we upgraded this storm to a first alert weather day just a couple of days ago. Yeah, we've been first alerting you to the potential for this since Wednesday of last week. And Scott, winter storm Birch has arrived. Yes. So let's take a look at what's happening at Bradley. Reduced visibility. <laughs> Bradley, not so good this morning. Many cancellations there. I, I told you yesterday, if you had a flight in or out of uh, Bradley this morning, that you were going to have to make some alternative plans, and I hope you did that. All right, our first alert, uh, live radar, the only live radar in Connecticut. Blue as snow. And this is, again, the only live radar in Connecticut. We saw those Wedgwood Blues moving through between Torrington and New Britain, between Salisbury and Torrington, Enfield, Tallinn. The snow is coming down at about an inch to an inch and a half to two inches an hour. Visibility is down. When I came in this morning at 2.30, this was a perfect 10. There was no snow. I was a little worried. And then I was like, yeah, here comes winter storm Birch. All right, a half a mile at Bradley, a quarter of a mile at Brainerd, Meriden, New Haven, one and a half in Bridgeport. You get the point. The winter weather advisory continues for Hartford and Litchfield. This was downgraded at about three o'clock this morning and not quite sure why they moved Hartford into the winter weather advisory. I think it should still be in a winter storm warning mode, but nonetheless, uh, we've got that snow out there for you right now. Plowable snow with winds gusting 25 to 35 miles an hour. Coastal flooding, there's a coastal flood advisory in effect. Mike's gonna get to that in just a second, but traveling and visibility is really poor this morning. And with the heavy, wet nature of the snow, there could be some isolated power outages. So uh, let's take a look at some of our eye cams. This is Mystic. Yeah, you're gonna, oh, look at the little doggies. Hi, little doggies, enjoying the snow out there with their owner. And as you can see, the car is moving through some sloppy road conditions down in Mystic. Here's New Haven. We need the wiper on the lens in New Haven. We've got a band of snow on the lens there. As you can see, the snow continues to come down there. And the temperatures out there this morning are in the upper 20s, low 30s. A temperature, Mike, that's conducive to this heavy, wet snow. I saw Luke just a few minutes ago with the snow shovel outside, and it, it, he was completely correct. This is the type of snow that's going to pile up and become more difficult to move. But just like you mentioned earlier this morning, temperatures tonight drop into the lower 20s. So there's a big refreeze concern here. We'll talk much more about that coming up. Scott will have, of course, a check of the first Lord seven-day forecast. Let's chat snow totals, though. Plainville, seven and a half inches. Prospect, seven inches. New Fairfield reporting six inches. Don in Cromwell reporting six inches. Six inches in Danbury, six inches in Southbury. All of this from winter storm Birch. Earlier, West Hartford was the, the jackpot total at seven inches, but some of the uh, surrounding towns starting to send in reports that are even a little bit higher. Simsbury, five and a half inches. Stafford Springs, four inches. Four inches in Litchfield, 3.2 in East Hartford, three in Andover. And those are a mix of reports from the National Weather Service and our viewers. We have had a plethora of pictures and reports sent into weather three at WFSB.com. If you didn't hear your town mentioned and you want to send in your snowfall report, email WF uh, weather at weather three at WFSB.com. Our first alert weather day continues here with snow expected to continue across the state here for the next several hours. Here's first alert future cast from now through 10 a.m. We still have snow statewide and it begins to taper off as we approach lunchtime from the northwest to the southeast. By one o'clock areas to the east of 91 are still dealing with snow, but west of 91 we actually start to see some improvements and there uh, could be even be a little bit clearing as we get closer to sunset today, wind gusts are beginning to ramp up. The newest data inland showing those gusts peaking between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Gusts 25 to 35 miles an hour. Look at the shoreline gusts here, even a little bit higher, closer to the center of the low itself. So we can tap into some of those stronger winds. Shoreline gusts up to 35 miles an hour. So from an impact perspective from winter storm Birch, power outage is certainly a concern. And that northeast wind helping to push extra water into Long Island Sound. That in tandem with the high tide cycle later this morning in the early afternoon, prompting the concern for some minor coastal flooding. We're expecting one to two feet of inundation in those typical low lying areas. If you live near the shoreline, you know where those tend to be. But the greatest impacts today will be from shoveling. This is tough snow to move and especially travel. We have low visibility, snow covered roadways, something we anticipate continuing for the rest of the morning into the early afternoon. Here's the coastal flood advisories right along the shoreline for the high tide cycle from Long Island Sound. And Scott, look at this hour by hour through 1 p.m. There's the snowflake icons all the way through. Temperatures may climb just a little bit more than where they are now. All right. I got a, just got an email from Maurice Cowood 
in Farmington, six and a half inches there. And that is no magic carpet ride on the roads this morning. Let me tell you. Thank you. 8.30 straight up. Uh, temperatures out there this morning once again in the upper 20s, low 30s. Here are the sustained winds, and we've seen them picking up anywhere from 10 to 13 to 15 miles an hour. And now look at the wind chills in the upper teens and low 20s. So you need to bundle up. Mike Slifer is going to head out for us in the 9 o'clock hour, get on the patio. Mike, you're going to have to borrow my boots and my mittens. Oh, yes. It's going to be cold out there, it's Scott. It's going to be cold out there. <laughs> Forecasted highs today only in the low 30s, morning snow giving way to partial clearing late this afternoon and then your seven-day forecast it's a chilly chilly blustery valentine's day lauren hug the one you love oh gosh yes definitely scott good morning everybody scott